After Tesla and BYD, we now have a German automobile giant, Mercedes-Benz, announcing its plans to shift towards all solid-state batteries for their electric vehicles. The plan is to extend the range up to 80% and achieve an energy density of up to 450 watt-hour per kilogram. They're looking to reduce the manufacturing cost and battery size, making the vehicles more efficient, lighter, and cost-effective. So, how is Mercedes planning to make this shift? And how many chances does the company have of success? The plan is a joint collaboration between Mercedes and a US-based company named Factorial, known for being at the cutting edge of solid-state EV battery technology. They've named the new battery Solstice, which is expected to give electric vehicles 80% more range than current ones. It has an energy density of 450 watt-hour per kilogram, which is quite high. For comparison, this new battery has almost twice the energy that Tesla's batteries have. Tesla's batteries, like those in the Model Y, have an energy of about 272 to 296 watt-hour per kilogram. And as I just said, Mercedes' new battery can reach 450 watt-hour per kilogram. But how is this difference possible? This big improvement is because Mercedes is using a new way to make the battery, called a dry cathode design. This helps make the batteries more powerful and also better for the environment. It means electric cars can go farther and be better for our planet. So what do the representatives say about this shift? In an announcement earlier this week, Mercedes and Factorial stated that they aim to start producing this battery by the end of the decade. Factorial has already made a type of battery called quasi-solid state that Mercedes and other automakers are testing. And don't think for a minute that this battery will be introduced decades later. Resources say that they might be used in EVs by 2026, which means we could see them on the road soon. But why are brands moving towards solid-state batteries like Solstice? It's because these new batteries replace the liquid inside traditional batteries with a solid metal. This change makes solid-state batteries smaller and lighter. Another big advantage of these new batteries is that they don't need a cooling system. This means electric cars can be even lighter. And when you use common sense, you'll conclude that when cars are smaller and lighter, they cost less to make. This could help lower the price for people who want to buy an electric car. Factorial emphasized that its sulfide-based system tackles issues associated with flammable liquid electrolyte designs commonly found in traditional batteries. This innovative approach addresses safety concerns and ensures that the batteries remain stable even when functioning at temperatures exceeding 194 degrees Fahrenheit or 90 degrees Celsius. This is a significant factor, as extreme temperatures and potential fire hazards have been major concerns for electric vehicles, particularly BYD. A study by a group called the American Council for an Energy Efficient Economy says that making batteries smaller and better might be the key to selling electric cars at a lower price. In the case of Mercedes, the introduction of a lighter battery could lead to massive advancements in how they build their vehicles. According to Marcus Schaefer, Mercedes' chief technology officer, this innovation would permit the use of high-strength aluminum instead of the costlier and more carbon-intensive steel currently in use. The collaboration with Factorial is set to produce solid-state batteries that boast a 40% increase in energy density, compared to Mercedes' present high-performance batteries. This improvement provides Mercedes with the flexibility to either reduce the size of their batteries or deliver electric vehicles with extended ranges. But how much range could Mercedes' electric cars gain from the new solid-state batteries? Are there any numbers or estimates? According to Factorial, the number of electric vehicles could soon include models capable of driving over 600 miles on a single charge, while saving 40% in weight compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries. This is a great improvement and could potentially eliminate range anxiety for electric car owners. Before this partnership, Mercedes first announced its plans to collaborate with Factorial on developing a solid-state battery back in 2021. Recognizing the potential of this technology, the following year, Mercedes took big steps to bolster their partnership by leading a massive $200 million investment round. This support underscored Mercedes' commitment to advancing battery technology and drew attention from other industry giants. Among those interested was Hyundai, another major automaker, which has also invested in Factorial. Now, you'll be further surprised to know that Factorial isn't the only partner Mercedes is teaming up with in their journey for superior solid-state batteries. Yeah, that's right. The car maker has also joined forces with Prologium, a Taiwanese battery manufacturer in which Mercedes has invested. Together, they're exploring innovative high-silicon anodes as an alternative approach to boosting EV battery density. 
Marcus Schaefer is confident that their engineering solutions are up to the task. Here's what he said. There are some challenges that you have to get under control, but we have great engineering solutions to address them. He further added that he believed Factorial's goal of developing Solstice at scale by the end of the decade was realistic. So is Mercedes the only non-Chinese brand that is shifting towards solid-state batteries? Certainly not. Toyota has also made headlines in this area, recently announcing its plans to develop and produce all solid-state EV batteries in Japan. This move has been officially certified, and Toyota isn't alone in this venture. Other leading Japanese companies like Nissan and Panasonic are also gearing up to enhance domestic production. The goal is quite strategic. Japan aims to establish a stable internal supply chain to decrease its dependence on China and South Korea, which currently lead the global battery manufacturing market. Automakers, including these Japanese giants, are investing in solid-state batteries due to their potential for providing longer range and more efficient electric vehicles. However, it's not all smooth sailing. One of the major hurdles has been the battery's underperformance in extreme weather, a challenge that has proven more challenging than initially anticipated. So, Mercedes and other automakers have decided to focus on all solid-state batteries as their next move in the EV industry. They're investing heavily in research and development to bring this technology to the market sooner rather than later. However, we still have a lot of questions to be answered. Will these solid-state batteries truly revolutionize the EV industry? How long will it take for them to become commercially viable and available to the public? Which vehicles will be the first to use them? And most importantly, how much will they actually cost? Because just claiming that these new batteries will be cheaper is not enough to convince potential buyers. These are all important questions that remain unanswered. But one thing is for sure, solid-state batteries hold great promise for the future of electric vehicles. The potential benefits in terms of safety, energy density, and cost efficiency are significant and could greatly impact the adoption of electric vehicles on a global scale. This was all about Mercedes and its shift to all solid-state batteries. If a brand like Mercedes is investing so heavily in this technology, it's a clear sign that solid-state batteries are the future of EVs. The potential benefits and advancements they offer could transform the industry and move us closer to a sustainable future. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the adoption of solid-state batteries in the automotive industry. Are you excited for this shift? Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content on what's going on in the automotive world. Thank you for watching.